The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa lost his mother when he was six years old. Fifty years later, fifty plus years later, the Prophet mother died on the journey from Medina to Mecca at a place called Al Abwa. When the Prophet ﷺ was traveling from Medina back to Mecca, everybody that was traveling with him, the whole caravan, the whole army, he said, stop here. And a few people that were close with the Prophet ﷺ, they went with him. And he went and he sat down at a grave. And he sat down there for a little while. After a while, he started to cry. He started to sob. He cried so severely that literally he was sobbing. His whole body was shaking. The Sahaba that were there, you know when you see somebody that you love in pain, it causes you pain. They didn't even understand, they didn't know what this was about. But some of the other Sahaba started to cry, but I see the Prophet some crying so badly. Umar radiallahu anhu finally went and he hugged the Prophet from behind, he grabbed him. And he said, it's okay, it's okay, he consoled the Prophet Until the Prophet was able to contain himself. And then they asked, what makes you cry like this, O Messenger of Allah? And he said, this is the grave of my mother. And coming here and visiting here reminds me of my mother. And I miss my mom and that's why I cry. He was six years old. How much time had he spent with his mother? 50 years later. He's a grandfather at this point. He's the messenger of Allah at this point. But he misses his mom and he cries for his mother. And so that's the importance. So before you complain about your parents, before you, you know, are ungrateful about your parents, realize what a blessing parents are. And go and ask someone who doesn't have their parents what they would trade to be able to spend another moment with their parents. Allah test those who believe from